Hi there, I'm J.B. Chandler, and I'm running for Toole County Commissioner. Let's talk about growth in Toole County. Best thing about Toole County, we got a good spot. The crossroads of two highways and two railroads, plus we're only 100 miles from Glacier National Park. Weird thing is, is we have lots of jobs, but not enough people to work them all. Our unemployment rate is really low, but if you look at the jobs wanted section in the newspaper, it's a whole page. We need to increase real job growth by increasing the population of working class people who actually want to work. I mean, no offense, but we don't need more welfare people. We need more workers. I got an easy idea to do just that and to do it all without spending an extra dime of taxes. Let's talk about the $65,000 switch. To get there, we first need to talk about COSSIT Consulting. It's spelled C-O-S-S-I-T-T. I've been reading over the past five years of Commissioner Minutes and I found that Toole County decided to pay Cossets Consulting a contract to oversee our county's economic development to the tune of, you guessed it, $65,000. That's a lot of money, man. And in the past few years, whatever the heck they've done with it, it isn't working. We've lost money on this deal twice. Money spent on losing people, money spent on losing jobs. And despite all this, for better or for worse, we still have a hundred jobs around here. And they need a hundred people to work them. So let's talk about a zero cost solution for population growth in Toole County, Montana. Let's do the $65,000 switch. Shift those monies from Cossets Consulting, from economic development to population growth. To put it simply, let's pay the right people to move to Toole County. If you've checked out my other video, 100 good paying jobs in Montana, then you already know Toole County has lots of good jobs and affordable homes to move into. But we need more Montana workers. For easy math, let's just pay a family $1,000 to move to Toole County. That's potentially 60 plus families, up to 120 workers to work good jobs. Of course, we need to create stipulations like length of time worked, proof of rent paid, or maybe distribute some money at Christmas and then some six months later. The biggest st stipulation I feel is that the applicants should be from Montana. Montanans can live in Montana. A person who graduated from a Golden Triangle or Highline School or from Plentywood can deal with the winter and wind and they are more likely to come back and stick around. Here's why we absolutely need to do this. We all know the major county issue that the Marias County Hospital has become. First off, I learned that the hospital cannot pay a moving bonus to potential employees, so this is where the county can step in. I've also learned that we are spending over 20000 a month on traveling nurses and traveling doctors. We have to pay them more to travel and work, and then they take our county money somewhere else, all while we're going into debt. How is this our freaking setup? We obviously need to invest in bringing in permanent hospital workers who will keep our county tax dollars in Tool County, all while saving us money at the hospital. So let's dive into a few obvious pitfalls. Let's say nobody wants to live the American dream. So nobody signs up for this payoff. When I say we spend that extra money on debt thus far. Paying 65 grand at the hospital debt might be a good idea. But ultimately, let's spend that unspent monies on needed debt relief elsewhere. Finally, what if a bunch of people come, but then almost nobody sticks around? What if even 80% leave? Leaving only 12 of the 60 families. Well, that's still 12 houses sold. Property taxes. Then there's the income taxes. Seven new hospital workers. Five new prison workers. Lots of new customers for our restaurants and our bowling alleys. You follow me? It's a win for the county, and it's a win for our local businesses. Thus, if we can replace many of those transient worker situations who inherently shift money away from Toole County with a worker who becomes an actual permanent Toole County resident working that job, the county saves money on the hire. The county makes money through their taxes, and we get to enrich our community with good, hardworking Montanans who want to live in a great, safe town like Shelby or Sunburst. It's time for Toole County to step up. My name is J.B. Chandler and I'm running for Toole County Commissioner and I would appreciate your vote.
and I want you to know what your vote means. Striving for real population growth in Tulla County. Check out my other videos about Tulla County, Montana. The next one is how we sell Tulla County to Montana. Go ahead, make a comment below, but of course vote for me, J.B. Chandler, in 2018. Thank you so much.